everything you described was, was perfectly logical and even to a point where uh, a judge can understand um, logically how you reached the conclusions that you did and he reached, apparently obviously reached the same conclusion, so that was tremendous. Detection equipment. Yes, this is Jeremy from Missouri. I had a question for Levi. Sure. Um, I, I have a question about uh, your detection equipment. Did you, um, what type of equipment were you um, using to detect the square wave and the sawtooth wave? Um, I started out. I started out with a tri-field meter uh, when I was doing my initial detection, then I moved to an RF spectrum analyzer. And so the RF spectrum analyzer actually, you can actually uh, take a whole region and then plug it in your computer and also as a, uh, you can take the, the regions from that. But the way we were doing it, we were just taking a video of it. But the, the spectrum analyzer, Showed it would show the telltale signs of the square microwave as well as the a sawtooth microwaves, and then it also showed the telltale signs of when radio waves were coming through too. So I mean they, that was that was one of the more sensitive pieces. And then they used another meter called the Wheel, and, and that actually you can run. What was that, what was that called? G O O L I B, and. Uh, and what it, what you can do is you can set it to different frequency ranges, and it actually starts just go, you can actually uh, take a whole region and then plug it in your computer, and also as a uh, you can take the the regions from that. But the way we were doing it, we were just taking a video of it. But the, the spectrum analyzer showed it would show the telltale signs of the square microwave as well as the a sawtooth microwave. And then it also showed the telltale signs of when radio waves were coming through too. So I mean they, that was that was one of the more sensitive pieces. And then they used another meter called the Wheel, and, and that actually you can run. What was that, what was that called? G O O L I B. And uh, and what it, what you can do is you can set it to different frequency ranges, and it actually starts just going through the different frequencies and it picks up every frequency it starts encountering and you can actually press the button and hold, uh, when it's uh, like the frequency, like for instance, 6.28 .2, hertz is coming up a lot and that's actually a direct correlation of, of, of one of the frequencies that causes depression. And then I was also hitting uh, at 10.83, which is one that causes anger as well as power, stuff like that. And then, so I was catching a lot of that. But then I was also catching uh, between uh, 11 and 13 a lot, which is when they're doing that, they're trying to do sleep deprivation. That those are the, the and, and mind you, when they're doing it, they, it, it, like, like I said, every person resonates at different frequencies. So when they're doing it, they generally are doing it in, uh, in frequency ranges. So, uh, cause each person resonates at a different frequency, so they have to hit the right frequency for you. But the point being is these frequencies are well known to the, with the... Well, it's very logical and very, very easy. Hopefully that we can duplicate those same efforts in other places. Um, people's circumstances are a little bit different, but I think it's, it's probably doable. Um, okay, great. Uh, Lula, you did a tremendous job. Uh, excellent, and it was you know, everything you described was was perfectly logical, and even to the point where uh, a judge can understand um, logically how you reached the conclusions that you did, and he reached apparently obviously reached the same conclusion. So that was tremendous. Detection equipment. Yes, this is Jeremy from Missouri. I had a question for Levi. Sure. Um, I, I have a question about uh, your detection equipment. Did you, um, what type of equipment were you um, using to detect the square wave and the sawtooth wave? Um, I, I started out, I started out with a tri-field meter uh, when I was doing my initial detection, then I moved to an RF spectrum analyzer. And so the RF spectrum analyzer actually, you can actually 
uh, take a whole read and then plug it to your computer, and also as a uh, you can take the the readings from that. But the way we were doing it, we were just taking a visual of it. But the, the actual analyzer showed it would show the telltale signs of the square microwave as well as the a sawtooth microwave, and then it also showed the telltale signs of when radio waves were coming through too. So I mean that that was. That was one of the more sensitive pieces, and then I used another meter called the Gleeb, and, and that actually you can run what it. That? What was that called? G-O-O-L-I-B, and, uh, and what, it, what you can do is you can set it to different frequency ranges, and it actually starts just going through the different frequencies, and it picks up every frequency it starts encountering. And you can actually press the button and hold, uh, when you press the, like the frequency, like for instance, 6.28 hertz is coming up a lot, and that's actually a direct correlation of, of, of one of the frequencies that causes depression. And then I was also hitting uh, 10.83, which is one that causes anger as well as outburst stuff like that, and then, so I was catching a lot of that. But then I was also catching... Uh, between uh, 11 and 13 a lot, which is when they're doing that, they're trying to do sleep deprivation. That those are the, the and, and mind you, when they're doing it, they, it, it, like, like I said, every person resonates at different frequencies. So when they're doing it, they generally are doing it in, uh, in frequency ranges. So, uh, cause each person resonates at a different frequency, so they have to hit the right frequency for you. But the point being is these frequencies are well known to the, with the effects of what they do. So that, that was, I was using that. And then I, I used the ELF uh, slash EMF reader, which is basically reading the milling house in Teslas. And, um, and that, that, you know, I just, I, I, I have to say, uh, I, I have to say, it, you know, that, 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 it's a meter. It's a, it's a great meter for what it's for, but for uh, for the actual, uh, I use a uh, was a Andrew. Uh, it's called an An uh, Andrew Mino, and, and what it that is is just a it's a spectrum meter. So it starts going through frequency ranges and starts stopping when it hits a frequency that it picks up. So I, I used about four or five different types of meters, but each one being being a bit more uh, sensitive than the, the previous. But the two the two that were the most effective was the RS spectrum analyzer and the the Gulab, uh, meter. Uh, those two were the, the ones that uh, really got the the signals and also showed the the square waves as well. All right, I I, I have an RF spectrum analyzer, and I I just was wondering how you were. Um, seeing the square waves in the sawtooth, is it is it a de, do you demodulate it or how uh, can you just well, tell by the signal spike or well, you, yeah you, you can see it in the in the signal spikes uh, when you when you get the signal spikes uh, it, it, it comes out as perfectly square signal spike you know that just okay. back down or out for anything. Uh, but when it, when it comes in as a radio frequency, it looks like a, ra a regular wave, a sine wave. But when they were coming in as, 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 a, as a microwave, they were coming in and looking exactly like square waves. And then when they were coming in as sawtooth, they would look at, they would come in with a, a flat front, and then they would you know gradually taper off and get back in, and that's a that's a telltale sign of a sawtooth wave. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. A free program that everybody can download. It's called a, a, tone, a tone Generator Analyzer. You can get it from CNET.com for free. And you can download it and you can actually look and you can change from a sine wave to a square wave to a socket wave to see where all of them is so they have to hit the right frequency for you. But the point being is these frequencies are well known to the with the effects of what they do. So that, that was, I was using that. And then I, I used the ELF uh, slash EMF reader, which is basically reading the uh, milling house in Teslas. And, um, and that, that, you know, I just, I, 
com. Oh, sorry, support at cfienterprises.com. You can contact uh, both Kathleen and I at that, uh, at that email address. Video made by Gangstall. King Attention Awareness. Like, share, and subscribe to keep in touch. How to escape the heat if you don't have an air conditioner. This only takes five minutes. If you're tired of hot and stuffy rooms or high AC bills during summer, you have to see this. This genius way to cool any room in 90 seconds for almost zero cost is taking over the